All right. Now we're doing 8Q total amount of points. This is by Petro Servnivka, and 92% of people like it. Uh, we've got a soccer team, and it's uh, trying to figure out how many points it got during a tournament. If uh, X, you know, X represents the uh, soccer team, and uh, if X is greater than Y, then there's three points going towards the tournament points. Uh, if X is less than Y, then zero goes towards the uh, tournament points. And then if they're tied up, then uh, one point goes to it. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to say const points equals games. And we're going to turn the rest of this into an arrow right here, making it concise syntax. Uh, and then we're going to say console.log right here so it's easy to test. And then we're going to start right here. So for this one, what we're going to use is the reduce method because we're going to be summing up uh, what all these represent. So if you don't know about the reduce method, it executes a, pardon me, a user supply reducer callback function on each element of the array in order passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. The final result of, redu of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. Uh, and for this one, uh, the first time that the callback is run, there's no return value of the previous calculation, but we're going to supply an initial value so that uh, it can take care of that. And that initial value will be zero. So the syntax we're going to be using is arrow function syntax. We're going to have a reduce here and then a previous value, current value in parentheses. We're going to have an arrow right here, an expression right here, a comma, and then the initial value, which will be zero. All right. So for this one, we're going to say games whoops games dot reduce and in here we're going to have prev for the previous value cur for the current value and then here's the arrow right here and we might as well just push uh, comma zero just so we can get the uh, initial value out of the way so for this one we're going to say uh, prev uh, but we're going to have to do a plus equals because we're going to we're going to have to put in another expression after this uh, using this ternary operator which is the only javascript operator that takes three operands a condition followed by a question mark then an expression to execute if the condition is truthy followed by a colon and finally the expression to execute if the condition is falsy and uh, this is usually used for if else statements all right so we're going to say right here we're going to say uh cur because it's this current this it's going to be each one of these elements right here one after another uh, so we're going to say cur at zero. So taking care of this position in the string. Uh, if that is greater than cur at two. So it's skipping this one, which is at one, and then going to two. So if this is bigger than this, we're going to do the question mark. And then we're going to say uh, three return three. So it'll add three to previous. Uh, if not, we're going to, we'll just take this whole thing again. And we'll put less than and turn this into zero. Let's just bring this down so it looks a little uh, cleaner. All right. Uh, and if not on this, if not for that, we'll just bring it down here and uh, put a one. Uh, we might as well just leave it back there. One like that. And then this is the initial value right here. So let me say one more time. This is, uh, this is, this position is greater than this position. We'll return the three, like it says here. If there, if this one's less, then we'll look return to zero and if they're tied up which is the only thing that could possibly be left it's going to be one uh, and that should take care of it so let's test it out and see what happens 30 30 looks good let's take this out of the way get rid of this console.log test it out one more time looks good attempt it all right submit it and this one pretty much did the same thing. They did um, they did the syntax is different. Uh, 
because they put output instead of uh, previous. Also, they did it normal style in s uh, as the function, which I mean, I guess that's cool. Uh, but it's pretty. This is practically the same thing. Uh, and here's the for loop way. You, you know, we're just gonna do. Excuse me, not even a for loop way. It's it's just a uh, map. And okay, cool. I guess <laughs> if you want to do it that way. Here's the actual for loop way, and you can check out all the rest if you feel like it. Uh, let's go over to mine. Just me on this one. Best practices in my opinion. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.